Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to calculate uh, some properties of hydrogen molecule and spe specifically speaking I will calculate the bound length and the dissociation energy of a hydrogen molecule. And I already pasted the, uh, the reference values for, for the bound length and dissociation energy here uh, in different units. Yeah? And then we will use quantum espresso to calculate uh, this and then compare it with the reference and see uh, um, how large the deviation is. Uh, so the idea is that we can uh, we can basically set the uh, distance between the two hydrogen atoms to be let's say around uh, one angstrom, and then let the system uh, relax automatically, and it will find the uh, optimal bound length in the end. Um, yeah, and then for the dissociation energy. Uh, like in at the end of the relaxation calculation, you we will already have the energy for the hydrogen molecule, but uh, but we need to uh, need to have uh, the energy uh, when the two hydrogen atoms are apart, and the difference between those two energies will be uh, the dissociation energy. Okay, so let's get started. I already uh, wrote the uh, needed input files, which I will post it on uh, GitHub so that you can. Uh, take a look and uh, for the relaxation of the hydrogen uh, atoms we need to change the calculation to relax and uh, and this is the suitable potential uh, library this SSSP that I recommended uh, in the last video and uh, for the calculation of a uh, of molecule you need to uh, specify the basically a, a big box um, this is a, a simple cubic uh, lattice with a uh, very large um, crystal uh, uh, lattice constant, so that the uh, molecule in the in the box does not really interact with the uh, molecule outside of the box. And there are um, and uh, everything else is, is is similar. We lower the threshold for the convergence. Um, yeah, and uh, and this is a new name card that only exists when you uh, use the relaxation calculation and then this is the default uh, way of doing uh, doing this relaxation calculation and you can also sk skip this uh, argument here and uh, atomic species we, uh, we use hydrogen and uh, this is the sort of potential fire for hydrogen and um, in the atomic positions I change from alat to uh, uh, anstrom uh, w so, so this is more clear that uh, the initial position of for, for the hydrogen atoms are one angstrom apart. Yeah. So the k points we uh, if because this is a molecule calculation, we only need one, one, one. So we only need one k points, um, and uh, this is the so-called gamma point calculation. Okay. So, so basically, the hydrogen atoms um, initially they start from one angstrom apart. You can also set it to be two or 1.5 doesn't matter but in the end uh, it will find it w its way to the um, to the optimum uh, position which is uh, yeah which we will see okay then uh, so we go to the terminal you see that uh, I already sourced the uh, the Intel compiler so that everything should be ready to use and MPI run minus MP2 we need two cores and uh, the directory to the quantum espresso uh, compilation and bin pw.x yeah we need minus inp and hi h2 relax dot in and output to h2 relax dot out okay um yeah this may take a few seconds Okay, and we see that in the folder there there is already this uh, output file, and we scroll down to the most uh, to, to the final result, uh, and this is the final coordinates, uh, almost at the end of the um, of the file, and uh, so those are the relaxed coordinates of hydrogen uh, in the unit of angstrom. Okay, so we copy. 
and paste it here. We need to take the difference between those two numbers and we copy and paste here. Yeah? So the bound length that we calculated is around 0 0.76, uh, uh, which is uh, more or less the reference bound length. So the error is around 3%. Uh, this, is, this is very uh, good. Uh, to improve the calcul there are many ways to improve the calculations. You can increase uh, this, uh, this value, you can decrease this value further, you can also increase the box size. Um, and um, and you can also specify some uh, something in in in, in this n name card, but I will not go into details now. So just let you know that it works, and um, and you will find different ways to uh, optimize the uh, the result. Uh, the second thing I s sorry that I forgot. I still go back to this uh, output file. The second thing is the final energy yeah? in the in the unit of Rydberg. Okay, so this is the final energy of the hydrogen molecule. What we still need is the energy w uh, where the two hydrogen atoms are apart. So I also already r wrote the input file. Uh, you see here we only do a single point uh, calculation and uh, everything else we keep, keep it the same so that the energy uh, is comparable. Um, and we move the hydrogen apart, uh, so basically the distance is now uh, two angstroms. Usually the, it decays exponentially, uh, so, so I if the, I let's say if the uh, equilibrium uh, bound length is around 0 0.7, I think two angstroms would well, uh, well work. You can also try, uh, try 2.5 or 3. Um, it it may cause some problem if you um, if you set it to to be too large uh, in like there will be some uh, there could be some problem in the convergence, but this two should be uh, perfectly fine. Okay, and then we run this code. Uh, okay, I will do it this way. Um, SCF. SCF dot out yeah this this will also take only a few seconds because this is a small system okay so it's finished and we take a look in at the output file and we scroll down we just need one number that is the final energy this is total energy here copy and paste here and basically here I take the take the difference of of this two cell and uh, convert it to the to the normal uh, ki kilojoule per mole, and you see that it's very close to the reference value and the error is within 0.1 percent. So in this video, I've shown you how to uh, calculate the bound length, how to calculate the dissociation energy of hydrogen molecule, and uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.